Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing the end of the month tracker for the month of October 2021. So let's get started. So unfortunately this is the second time I'm filming this video because the first time I didn't notice my camera said out of storage and it just decided to stop filming. So we're just going to jump right in. I'm also going to be doing a bill exchange while I'm doing um, this counting. And we're going to start off with my bills binder. So what I ended up doing was I kept the way my tracker normally looks when I put money in weekly, but instead I put monthly goal, total, and if I met the goal or not, just so I can see if my goal is probably too high up that I can't financially afford it each month. So I know I didn't meet a lot of these goals, which is completely fine. I just got a little excited with my new job and my new um, income that I got. So next month for November, it would definitely be different, but that's completely fine. It's just about being honest with yourself and I have had a few things change personally that did change these finances. So not all of these um, unmet goals are based off of laziness. It's just other things popped up that weren't important. Okay, so for rent, I had a monthly goal of $900. I'm pretty sure I did not meet that. So I'm just gonna move this over. Okay, so for rent, it was supposed to be $900. So I have one, two, three, four hundred dollars. So I'm just gonna write how much I have as a total and if I met the goal or not, which I didn't, and I was minus 500, that's how much I was short by. I live with my fiance, so you know, we just split things and he just covers if anything. That's just how we do things, that's our personal stuff. But um, I would just owe him. So phone bill is 45, so I'm pretty sure I met all of the rest of these. So phone bill has 45. So 45 and I met it. Wi-Fi was $20, which is 20, so I met that as well. We don't have a lot of monthly expenses, thankfully. We don't have cable because we don't watch TV like that. We just have Wi-Fi. Electric is $40, and we also live in an apartment, so we don't have to pay for heat like that and everything. That's everything that was met. I don't do this for MasterCard, so the only thing was bills. I was short by $500. So for next month, I will just know. Um, I will still have the same goal, but um, I'm not sure why I didn't meet it, to be honest. I did have other things come up, so I'm just going to do that on my own time to figure out why I didn't meet that. Next is future sinking funds. So for my Roth IRA, I had a monthly goal of 667. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 740, 745, 746, 748, 4950, 751, 752, 753, 754, 755. So I am over, so I have 755, so I did meet my goal. So for instance, for this, this is really how much I want to save in the month. So I put too much money in the envelope, which is okay, but what I'm going to end up doing is putting the extra money towards my rent since I do owe that much. So it's going to be $88. So I'm just going to change how much I have in this um, envelope just so I can go ahead and put in this money towards rent. So 667. So I'm gonna take out $88. Okay, so here is 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. That's going to be going towards rent. And then there should be 667 here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67 dollars for a Roth IRA. Okay, so I'm going to put this in Roth IRA and then I'm going to take my bills binder back out. And we're going to put this $88 in here. Sorry if this is confusing, but this is what makes sense to me because I am over for my Roth IRA and I don't need that much more money in here. So I'm going to put this here. So now I will change my total to 488. I hate math and I don't really try to use my brain that much for math. So it's completely fine. Let me put this in red. 412. Okay. So I met that goal. So now we're going to go back to the future binder. 
if you hear um, any clicking, that's Flash playing with his toys. Okay, so next is going to be engagement party, and I know I don't have 500. Engagement party only has $50. Um, 50, so I am, I am short by 450. Okay, wedding is 477. So wedding has 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 141. In wedding, so I did not meet my goal, which is still okay. And I'm gonna do the math right here which is a six, a three, and a three, so 336 short. So since I have 141, I have these, oops, I have these placeholders I made because I did buy some from Etsy, from Kay's wallet, I'm like going blank. I love Kay's wallet, that's where my envelopes are from, but I don't get them till like the second or third week of November. So I don't like to have a lot of cash here. So since it is gonna be like a bill exchange, I'm gonna put these placeholders for now and put the rest of the money to go back to the bank. So I'm gonna put 100 in here. And this is a fake 50 as well because I already have this in my account in the bank. So I'm gonna get $100. So let's see, I have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so I'm going to do 5, 10, 15, 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh, this doesn't even make sense. Um, okay, let's take the 50 out. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 150, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, we have 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So I'm gonna put a placeholder instead. And I'm just gonna put this money up here just in case I can swap out bills since this is going to be a bill exchange as well. So 141 is in wedding. I do put all of this money in a savings because I don't touch my savings. So I just know how much belongs to each category based on my iPad. So that's fine with me. So for our home, I know I did not save $1,041, which is 20 here. So that's what I mean that I got a little too excited with my income. Completely fine. So I'm short $1,021. Future baby also and baby's future. There's only $10 in each. So 10 and 10. So I'm sure by 65 for both. And then car also, there's only 10. So I'm sure by 190. So all of these will definitely be changed up just so it makes more sense to me. Okay, so next is gonna be long-term sinking funds. Uh-oh, that's Flash's favorite. It's going to make so much noise. Thank you, Flash. So savings, my goal is $1,667. I can't stop him, guys, so sorry. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 650, 660, 670, 675, 680, 685, 690. Really exciting, so 690. I'm gonna meet the goal, but I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can swap out. So I already have these placeholders. Flash, oh flash. So what I'm gonna do is I have a five hundred dollar one. So I'm gonna leave it here. And what I'm gonna do is take these these placeholders. Mean I already have this money in my account. So that's one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. I'm gonna put one more hundred there and leave the five hundred dollars here. And I'm gonna put a hundred dollar placeholder here for this one hundred dollars. So since this is real, it's going to the side just to see if I can put this in another envelope. And these can go over here too. I want to get rid of those paper ones. I just printed them because I wanted. A placeholder for it. So 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, and $90. Okay, so I have a $50 placeholder too that I need um, right here. So I'm going to put this $50 also to the side and put the 50 here. 
I hope this makes sense to you guys, but this just helps me out to know how much I have in the bank once I deposit the rest of this. So I have 500, 600, 650, 660, 670, 675, 680, 685, 690. So 690 dollars. I'll do the math afterwards. So I have 977 dollars that I'm short by. Emergency fund should have three hundred and thirty-three dollars. So emergency has one hundred, two hundred, two fifty, two seventy, two eighty, two ninety, two ninety-five, three hundred and one dollars. So three hundred and one dollars. So I didn't make this goal, but it's okay. I'm sure by thirty-one, thirty-two dollars, right? Yeah, thirty-two dollars. Yeah. So can I, I have another $100 placeholder, I have two of them. So I'm going to take two of these in here, put these hundreds to the side. And then there's this 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So I'm going to take another $100 placeholder and put these to the side. So this 20 goes here, 5 and 10. I don't have a lot of these placeholders. I just made them this morning, but it's okay. So there's one, two, three, hundred and one dollars. Okay, next is loan. So for this, I'm just going to be depositing this into my checkings just so I can pay off my loan for my checking account. So I don't have to swap out the bills here. So for loan, I definitely didn't have $1,833, but I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 500, 520, 540, 560, 580, 600, 510, 1520. So 620. Thank you, Flash. He loves that toy so much. My friend got it for him, and I had to buy a new one because he ended up breaking it. Um, but yeah, he loves that toy, and he's even more happier that it's back. So I'm short $1,213. I'm going to put this to the side. So Flash Medical, I wanted to have $167. So Flash Medical has $20, 40 60 80 $110. So I'll put a $100 place over here. For him, so he has $110. Is exciting. I want to have a goal of a thousand dollars for him because we don't have insurance, and just in case God forbid he gets sick, I want to just know I have this money for him. Mom and dad, I'm sorry, you guys only have ten dollars, so I definitely did not make that goal. So I am short one fifty seven. And the next is health. So for health, um, I think I discussed it in my um, weekly cash stuffing. So I had like a dentist appointment and a procedure that needs some money that I have to save up. So my goal was five hundred dollars for this fund. So I have one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, for twenty, for thirty, for thirty-five. So I'm a little short. Okay, so I have one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred dollars. I believe. Yeah, sixty-five. Can I swap out anything? Two, three, 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 no. You know what? I'm going to put those ugly placeholders here because I really don't want to have this much cash. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna do my God, gosh. He's right here, too. I'll show you guys. Look at him. <laughs> I just saw the camera and it looks a little messy here, so I'm, I'm gonna try and put the money out of frame. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna take these 400s and put them here, and I'm gonna put the placeholders here. So I use these ugly paper ones, so one, two, three, and I'll use the 50s here, so 400. So it should be 1, 2, 3, 50, 400, 20, 35. So 435 in health. Okay, and then investing is, it has a goal of $333. So investing has $22. Okay, so I didn't meet the goal. So I'm short. 
$311. So I'm just going to get a 20 instead to put here. I stubbed my toe like a few minutes ago and it hurts so much. Okay. So next, um, we're just jumping to my savings challenges. So I know I didn't make any of these savings challenges as of yet, but I just wanted to see where I am with my goals. So for coffee, I know I don't have 150 in here, but I wanted to know how much I have. So I have 10, 20, 25, 30 dollars in here, which is cool. So I'm just, I'll, I guess I'll do how much I'm sure by 120. So I'm gonna swap out um, 10, 20, 30. So I'm gonna put this five here, take a 10, and change this for a 20. Okay, so there should be 30 here. Okay, so for Christmas, I have a goal of $600. So one, two, three, three, 10, 15. So I have 315 here. So I am short by, what is it? Um, 285, I think. I'm just guessing. I think it's 285. Um, I don't have any more placeholders. I have like, oh, actually, I have $200 I can put here. So I'll do one and two here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm excited. I'm almost making my Christmas goal. Okay. So for my fiance, I'm doing a um, mini gift stuffing. So the goal is $250. So I have $20, $40, So I'm just going to keep doing this. <laughs> so I'm sure by $200. So I'm going to change this for a $50. Put the $50 in here. Okay, next is buffer. I'm really excited for this one. So I could just leave my buffer in my checking. So if I have any automatic payments, um, like my Apple Music and all that stuff, I just know I have a buffer in there just in case. So buffer has 20, 40, 60, 70 dollars. Oh my gosh, 70. I'm just gonna do this math afterwards because I'm lazy. Fall fun should have to 60. I still haven't done anything for fall. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75 dollars. So yeah, 75 dollars. So I'm gonna swap out two fives for a 10. I mean, even if I decide not to do anything for fall, I mean, maybe I could keep it to roll over for Christmas because I do wanna do ice skating and um, a few more winter events. The weekly stuffing should have 200, but I am right now at $60, which is fine. These are all savings challenges that I just started to make it more fun to save up. And then 52 week and 100 envelope, we're not counting yet because we have not finished. So let me just go ahead and do the math right now. So 450 minus 70. So for my fiance, I am 380 short. Oh wait, for my buffer, I'm 380 short. Full fun, I am short 185. And then this is 140. So this is just to give me a nice little outlook of how much more I have to go. So I'm just going to count up all of this money so I know how much I am going to be depositing to the bank. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 100, I mean 100, 100, 1,000 dollars, <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So $1,250 is what I am depositing to my savings. So I'm just going to write that down on my phone just so I know um, how much I am going to be depositing. And then for my loan, I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 
20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 5, 10, 15, 20. So 620 is what I am going to be depositing for my loan, which is right here. So 620. So this goes into my checking so I can pay it today. And then the rest of this goes into my savings account. Again, it does sound confusing to have more than one category in your savings, but it just works for me because I don't touch it at all. Um, because all of that money should just be saved up and not used unless for emergency purposes because it's my savings, emergency fund, Flash's medical fund, and my Roth IRA, which is for my retirement. So nothing gets touched whatsoever in savings. So my iPad just shows me how much belongs to each category just so I know. So I'm going to put this in my back to the bank envelope. And then this will be separated by a five, which is fine. So I know that this goes to my checking. And I will deposit this to the bank because this is a lot of cash to have at home. So if anybody wants to rob me, there's just placeholders. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's end of the month tracker for October. I can't believe October is gone, but it does feel 100% like fall. It is going to be November, a brand new month, brand new goals. You can restart. I see a lot of people unstuffing their envelopes and restarting or unstuffing because they've made their goals, which is amazing. Again, this budgeting community is amazing. So many friends out here, so much encouragement. And again, even if my stuffings are a little bit higher than your income that's just something recent because I have my full-time career job now but don't get discouraged because you can still find motivation and different ways to budget that might help you by watching higher income videos it should not make you feel bad whatsoever because I used to sell a hundred dollars or even less than that but just getting into the habit of doing it means so much because once you know how to save a little bit of money when you have a lot of money you just panic like me and you set these crazy goals that you can achieve but it's totally fine this tracker helped me a lot so I can go ahead and maneuver things around on my excel for my future goals for November so I hope you guys have a great week happy November and I'll see you guys next time bye